When I was hospitalized, I was told by psychiatrists and by doctors, don't expect to do anything special with your life. You're not going to really amount to anything, so you're going to have to live a very simple, quiet existence. His voice was sped up. I know you don't know me, I don't know you. He wasn't sleeping. He thought he could fly off the Empire State Building and land safely. I would do it, I'd fly, I'd fly, I'd fly. I hit a deer at 70 miles per hour, but still feeling this euphoria. And they had the police looking for him, dogs looking for him. He was panicked. Please, I just need you to do this, okay? It's horrifying. I've been on lithium for 16 years. Full of drugs and full of questions, I decide to record my journey as I try to heal myself naturally and become normal. My name is Ross McKenzie, and it is September 17th, 2011. Super freaking stressed today. I want to use myself as an experiment and ultimately show what's possible. Today I'm not feeling as grounded, and you can probably see that. Am I too high? Am I too low? It's the fear of being alone and actually just taking care of myself. As I started asking questions, it became clear to me that we're facing a psychiatric epidemic. Drugs are actually designed to be addicting. Some of the people who sit on the DSM committees have affiliations with drug companies. I asked him about the chemical imbalance theory, and he says, well, it's not really true. And I said, what do you mean it's not true? Uh, we say that to get people to take the drugs. Everyone in some way is affected by this issue, either directly or indirectly. Somehow we've gotten to this point in time where emotions are not cool. And if you have emotions, then somehow that needs to be diagnosed and you need to be medicated with it. I knew without a doubt as I was locked in this straitjacket, sitting in this white padded room that this was not something that was going to break me. This was something that was going to propel me and go on a search to find answers, to find the truth. This is my story and this is what I did.